Why, hello there. I'm Tyler, a.k.a. Ty Force. And uh, I guess that would make me uh, Ryan. Oh, hey, I thought that was you. Yep. Say, Tyler, you ever judge a book by its cover? <laughs> well, uh, I definitely judge a toy box by its screenshot in the community content menu, if you know what I mean. I do, because everyone knows that the cooler your screenshot is, the more likely people are to play and download it. So today, we're going to share some tips on how to make an awesome screenshot to help your toy box get noticed. Sounds good. So first, load the toy box you want to make a screenshot for. To help you out, place a target camera, then connect it to a locator. The position of the target camera and its connected locator create the camera's angle. To see how things look in the camera so far, connect an action button to it that will make it activate. Hit that button and voila! This is our shot, as it is right now. And as you can see, the shot doesn't really have that majestic flair we were hoping for. So let's try moving the locator down a bit. Also keep in mind that the distance the locator is from the camera affects how much it adjusts the angle. And to give you even more control over your shot, you can go into the target camera's properties and adjust the offsets. That is correct! Adjusting the offsets will only affect the framing of the shot, not the angle. Now, I like what I see. But wait, you haven't even gotten to the good part yet. What? <laughs> you mean there's more? Absolutely! Anyone can use locators in a target camera to frame a shot, but to really make it stand out, you have to think about a couple things, like what's in the foreground, what's in the midground, and what's in the background. Also, try placing interesting things around the third lines like these, like a character, a set piece, or anything else that looks really unique. That's what us professional screenshot makers do. Then, when placing your character in the shot, be sure not to crop your character at their joints. It just looks weird. Also, make a point to have all the characters' arms and legs readable, especially with an action shot. Which raises the question, how do you get your character in a cool pose? I'm glad you asked, Ryan. A lot of characters have interesting idle animations that you can capture. And that's awesome and all, but experimenting with each character's moveset will give you even more ideas. Some examples would be how they pose after attacking. You call that fair? I'll tell you about fair. Or after recovering from a ground pound. Or we could even use the action enforcer for a ton more poses and effects. Whoa, mind blow. But sometimes it can be tricky to get your moving character caught in just the right pose. This may require several attempts to save your screenshot at just the right time. So remember, it takes about a half a second before the pause menu pops up, so stay sharp. I'll do just that. Thanks for the heads up, Ryan. And for those of you who want to knock it out of the park, take a tip from Tyler over here and create your very own title screen, like in the Boss Bash and Toy Box. Thanks, Ryan. But I essentially just used a target camera and a locator, which we've already discussed, and had the camera facing a giant block art. Then I adjusted the offsets to get the artwork framed just right. With everything all lined up, it's time to take the shot. Activate your target camera, then open the pause menu, select save, and then save the level. If you want to check your work, you'll find your recently saved level in your toy box saves. Mmm, that is one good looking screenshot. Well, I think that about covers everything you need to know on how to make an awesome screenshot for your toy box. You let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out our in-depth tutorials for the awesome new 3.0 toy box. Check you later!